You've all seen this wonderful graph, and this is the graph, and you can, you can, it's in your book, so I'm not going to go, I'm just going to talk to you about a couple of bits. I've got this extra R in there called reproducible. This is not in the workbook. I want it in the next edition of the workbook, Paul, <laughs> because it's a lot of fun, and here's something that you can all try out when you get back to your workplace. Okay. Um, when we normally do this, I have a lot of fun. We're normally in a big arena with lots of tables, and I get you to all do this on each other. And you can try this out when you get back. I get three or four students and I get you to measure one head. However, the problem is you're a bit confined and I can't get you all to do this. However, uh, I'd like Mike, can you just come down Mike from it? I'd, can you just illustrate the principle here for me Mike? So what we do normally is, is in a big setting in an open plan, I'd get three or four of you and you say, can you measure one head and just not tell them the results? So I'm going to ask Mike just to measure my head. Inside life, is it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, just the head. <laughs> <laughs> Do you often take a few inches off like usual? Oh, <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> oh, dear, it's changed. Okay, oh my. 59.5 Okay, 59.5 centimetres. Thanks, Mike. Give Mike a round of applause. <laughs> okay, some of you may have noticed at coffee time, I came around asking people to give me their measurement of my head. Okay? Uh, and. I did this, what I called, I, I, Amanda gave me this idea this morning, it was fantastic, one at the potters, I want shares of potters, but I thought, okay, at coffee time I'm going to do my own study. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape measure, and I, that's why I started with Mike, and I'm going to take the tape measure and ask people to measure my head circumference. And I'm going to stop doing that when somebody gets the same, hand, same answer. Okay? So if, if you did 59.5 then, did you? Yeah. If the next person had got 59.5, I would have stopped. And how many people do you think it would take before I got the same measurement? Exactly the same measurement. Well, we, uh, people were measuring it to 0 and 0.5. That's all they were doing it. 12, 20. 5, 3. Okay, let's look at the, uh, let's look how we did. Okay, Mike, you're out again. Mike got 59 centimetres. Then I went to Edna. I, I'm not sure if I spelt that right, but Edna did some odd. She went into inches. <laughs> 23 and a half inches. So I didn't do the conversion factor there, but I was already in trouble. Okay, Paul there went to 60.5 centimetres. So we went up, okay. And Julie then went to 63 centimetres. Mike had said at the beginning, didn't he? Are we doing he said to me, are we doing this because your head's getting bigger? <laughs> <laughs> There's the proof, Mike. However, Catherine said something very important to me. She said, does it matter where I measure it? I'm, I'm going to let you think about that yourself. But actually, my head size went down at that point to 61 <laughs> centimetres. Okay. Bam Bang. He said to me, what is happening with your head? <laughs> 59.5. Does anybody know what's happening with my head? Because uh, according to me, it gets bigger and smaller after a cup of coffee. Okay, Amanda, 61.5. Now, Amanda had seen these measurements because I said, this is what I'm doing. So she turned it over to the inches and said, well, I'll just do it inches and then convert it back. Still no help. <laughs> Claire, Claire at the back there, 60 centimetres. So I'm up to number eight person. And I'm thinking, gee, I'm not going to get back to my group now. 
And luckily, Dan there came in at 59.5, which was the same as Bang Bang. See that? I don't want to confuse my group anymore. <laughs> important principle. Do you see that about measurements? Very important. There are some nice statements there. People were asking, do you want it in centimetres or inches? Does it matter where I measure it? What is actually happening with my head? <laughs> you know, they used to use a tape measure in children when they had meningitis, and it had gone up by 7 millimetres, then they'd order an urgent CT scan. I'm not sure what they'd order on me. <laughs> However, tape measure. I got taught to use this in obstetric practice. It varies by up to five centimetres. In fact, a friend of mine this happened to, who actually ended up with this situation and said, you need a scan because I'm concerned that your baby is undersized by five centimetres. However, the scan was not available for one week. Do you think she felt bad and anxious in that period? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a slight scandal that we do these things and then don't realise the consequences of what we've got to offer next. So if we teach people to measure and to do it this way, yes, we try and standardise it, but we should use these measurements to then say, what's our next action? How do we remember at the beginning about the cars, the problems we face? And so you often see this measure, which is not is a, is a measure in these test studies, about measure of agreement. How well do we agree? And at the bottom, you get this kappa value, a bit like the very good agreement. We can look at an x-ray all the time and agree on what it's saying. At the top, 0.2 we get the poor agreement. And generally, you look in this, but that's what you've just done. I think you'd agree that the nine people would probably be somewhere quite high up here in terms of agreement. So would we say that using a tape measure is a useful way of measuring the head circumference? Okay, so we wouldn't...